Can you tell me your name and occupation? Terry Thomas. Occupation, farmers. And where do you live? Highwaycombe. England, yes? Nancy Harcourt. Thank you. Where were you born? St Vincent, Calder, San Grong. Yeah. Can you tell me your parents' names and occupation? Start with your dad and then your mum. Will Thomas and Elmina Thomas. Occupation, farmers. And what about brothers and sisters? Can you tell me their names and their occupation? Yeah. Um, my sisters, there's Louisa William, Anita Kidd, Doreen William, and Carmelita Thomas. Brothers, myself, Felix Thomas, Levi Thomas, Enos Thomas. And their occupations? Farmers, yeah. Uh, okay, what about your children? My children, them. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I have four. Venice William and Yuvan Margaret. Son, Dennis Thomas and Gideon Thomas. What about your aunties and uncles? Do you know their names? Aunties and uncles. On my father's side. I know my father, brothers, um, as Conrad Thomas, Griffith Thomas, and Kenrith Thomas, Machan Thomas, Oyen Thomas, Daryl, Reggie, and Annie girl. Mm-hmm. There's Esme, Lineza, and Exi, Vavina, and that's all I remember. On, on your mother's side? Uncle Norman. I remember Uncle Norman. Mary, mm-hmm. Matt Doyle, and Miss Margaret, and um, Eugenia. That's it. What about the uncles? Uncle, I remember. On, on your mother's side. Joseph, Naaman, Oyen, Ranjit. Okay, what about your grandparents? My father, Said. Has Kokul. It's your great grandfather. Oh, yeah. That's Lily Thomas. Yeah, Lily, Thomas, and um, Marianne Thomas, his wife. Okay. What? What? Um, what was their occupation? They were farmers. And your grandparents on mo- your mother's side. Ridley Vacas. And grandmother. Rebecca Bacchus. Do you remember um, where they lived? Richland Park. Who lived at Richland Park? Which one? Uh, um, Ridley Bacchus. Mm-hmm. They lived at Richland Park. They moved from Argyle up to Richland Park. 
And what about uh, Lily Thomas? Where did they live? They live in Argyll. And I moved from Argyll from a Calder. OK. Mm -hmm. And do you know any other relatives? Yeah, I know. Some of the dean and my grandparents, them, was family. Um, Kaludin. Kaludin. Yeah, Kaludin. Mm -hmm. And my grandparents were sisters and brothers. Okay. Yeah. Did your parents or grandparents ever tell you that their forefathers came from India? Did they ever tell you that? Oh. Can you think of any Indian names? Raja. Mm-hmm. Was that an Indian name? And Gokul. And, um, Who is Gokul? Huh? Who is Gokul? Gokul. An old Indian man was Gokul. Is he related to you? Yeah. OK. Where do they first live when they come to St Vincent? Argyle. All of them? Most of them, yeah. OK. What do you remember about life and your earlier times in your childhood? Very hard. Very hard in those days. Things was very hard. Can you tell us some of the things that you <coughs> had to do? In those days, the people used to eat more vegetables for me in the garden. Like, um, thing they pick on a bush. Like you could call it. Kalalu, Baji Kalalu, and Karaila, those kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Because I didn't have money to buy um, fish and meat. So I eat more vegetable. That's why I live long. Okay. Yeah. What about the clothes that they wear? The clothes they wear was a normal clothes, but there was longer than what they wear now. OK. And what kind of house did they live in? Wooden house. Can you remember what their religion was? Indian. Indian religion. And can you think of any of the words that they used to use? Any words, anything, or a song, anything? I could remember one little few words that I used to sing. Mm-hmm. Um, That's it. In meaning, is an interpreter boy. Within your luck is what you're going to get. Okay, yeah. thank you. Okay, um, would you say life is very different now? Very much different. What things are different for you? Well, everything is changed now. Everything is matter now. In those days, you have to go down they go out and get water and go and cut wood in the bush who cook. But now you have gas, you don't have to go and cut wood. You have water tap in a house. You don't have to go and drink water. So everything is modern now. Modern, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. OK, what... Um Something that you really enjoyed when you were a child? Treasured memory from when you were a child? We're looking forward to when Christmas comes. We used to go out and 
Sorry, nay. We tell a little group around the village, singing from door to door. And we get um, maybe a glass of ginger beer, uh, cereal, and I will give you a few pence when I go to the door. Yeah. Lovely. And what about hard times, hardships? Hardship. Hard. Thing was very hard. The first one I remember is when my father died. Then hardship belongs. Start with me. Because he was the, the only breadwinner in the house. And I was the oldest one in the house. So I have to go and cut wood from the bush to get um, make fire for my sister there for cook. And my sister there have to go and draw water from the gutter mm -hmm. for them to cook. So things change altogether. So right. things was very hard. Mm -hmm. And which thing was different. Mm -hmm. Well, we can't change nothing. Yeah, and that's uh, the next question. If you had to change anything, what would you change? If I have to change anything, you can't bring back life. Mm. No, you can't ever. Okay. So, uh, if, what gone? Mm -hmm. You can't bring it back. No. Okay. Um, have you heard about the St. Vincent and the Grenadines Indian Heritage Foundation? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, what do you know about it? What, what do they do? Well, they're doing a good job. They try to revive and try to keep it up as with the Indian, keep it alive. Because they will, where our four parents come from and they try to keep it alive. Yeah. What would you like to see them accomplish? I'd like to see them accomplish many different things. If we could uh, get some help from the Indian government to help us to go, go upgrade, upgrade some of the things home. In St. Vincent. Okay. Yeah. Need to upgrade. Did you enjoy sharing your story with us? Yeah, yeah. Do you like talking about your um, heritage? you like talking about growing up in St. Vincent? Oh, yeah, yeah, very much. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.